Howdy, I'm Blaine Carter. I'm a product manager here at Oracle for Oracle's Visual Builder and Oracle's Visual Builder Studio. Today I'm here to give you a quick overview of the Oracle Visual Builder add-in for Microsoft Excel. With this add-in, Excel users can leverage the interfaces and tools that they're already familiar with to access external services. Using the Excel add-on, you can allow your users to access business objects in your Visual Builder application, which will also allow you to impose business rules on any changes they might make to those objects. And the add-on is not just for Visual Builder applications, but it also works with other REST APIs such as Oracle REST Data Services. Today I'm going to give you a real quick demonstration just showing a couple of the items I mentioned before. First up, I will show you how to connect a spreadsheet to a Visual Builder application. After that, I will show you how to enforce business rules on the changes that your users might make to your objects. And finally, I will show you how to connect to a database table that I've already auto REST enabled using Oracle REST Data Services. I have stubbed in a very simple app here in Visual Builder to track my critters. I've created three business objects. Uh, of course, I have one for critters. I have one for the location of my critters and one for the species of my critters. So if you look at the critter object and go into data, you'll see I've already pre-entered uh, three critters. I have my dog Whiskey, he's a half German Shepherd, half Husky, half Black Lab, and half Australian Shepherd. Yes, I know that adds up to two, but he's such a good dog, he gets two. And I also have my two dwarf goats, uh, one is Smog the Magnificent, and the other one is Gandalf the White. So what I'm going to need from this app to start out with is to go into the endpoints, open up the resource APIs, and I want to get this link to the metadata for the development data. So I'll just click copy there, and then I will use that link in my spreadsheet. Over in Excel, you can see I already have the add-in loaded, so I'm going to go to that tab and I'm going to open the designer where I've already got the URI pasted in that uh, I selected out of my application. I'll hit next. It's going to want me to log in. And I'll just paste the password there, sign in. Uh, once it connects up to the app, I'll hit next, and you can see my three business objects here, and you'll notice that Critter has two child objects. So I will select Critter. I'll hit next. I just want a table layout, so I'll hit next. Everything looks good. I'll hit finish. Then once that has created the link, I'll hit download data, and you can see the three entries we had from before. Now a nice thing here is since I've already created the relationship between the business objects over in Visual Builder, these tables that are linked have a pre-created drop-down list, list of values already in Excel, so I don't have to do that. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to turn uh, smog into a dog, hey, that rhymes, I could just change that, hit upload data, and our data, our changes have uh, succeeded. If I pull it back down, you'll see that he is now a dog. So we'll make him a goat again and upload the changes and then re-download to show everything's back to normal. Back over in my Visual Builder application, you can see I'm looking at the Critter business object and I want to look at the business rules. So I've already created a couple business rules for setting the location based on the species of the animal. So for example, if it's a goat, it goes in the goat pen. If it's a chicken, it goes in the chicken coop. And I don't really want to put the dog in the chicken coop. Uh, he's never gone after the chickens, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back out and I'm going to activate both of my business objects and then we'll switch back over to the spreadsheet. Back over in the spreadsheet, let's check to see that our business rule is working by changing smog into a chicken. I'll hit upload changes and you can see that the location has been changed to a chicken coop. Now these uh, business rules are enforced on the back end so even if I tried to bring a chicken into the house and upload the changes, uh, the application will say, nope, chickens belong out in the chicken coop, you can't bring the chicken back into the house. Uh, 
So we're going to turn smog back into a goat because smog likes being a goat. And I'm also going to add a whole bunch of records here. So you'll see we got four chickens and a couple cats. Uh, you can see the change that's about to happen in the change column over here. And with these, the data is empty. So I'm just going to upload the data. And you can see that all the chickens have been put in the chicken coop and the cats have been put in the house and smog is back over in the goat shack where he belongs. So it looks like all of our business rules are working. And like I said, they're enforced on the back end. I've already set up a table in my database called dogs and I have auto rest enabled that table using Oracle rest data services. So now I'm going to go and this is going to be real quick. I'm going to show you how to connect your database to your spreadsheet or your ORDS endpoint to your spreadsheet. So same as before visual builder click uh, designer uh, the web address for my uh, auto rest enabled table called dogs. Uh, notice right here that I'm actually pointing to the open API catalog for the dogs endpoint. Uh, with this, I set it up to be quick, so there's no authentication on it. I'll hit next, obviously no login. Uh, it found the API, I'll hit next. There's only dogs, so I'm just going to click on that slash right there, hit next. I want a table layout and next and finish. And that's really it. It is connected to my ORDS endpoint. I can download the data. I can, uh, let's say whiskey's been eating a lot. So we'll add a couple pounds on there. Uh, let's see, where's my delete key? 90, we'll make him 92 pounds. I'll push the changes up. Uh, update succeeded. Uh, we'll put him back on a diet, take those couple pounds off, upload the changes and there we go, he's back to normal weight. Uh, all of the other functionality that I was showing you as far as adding multiple rows and whatnot will work exactly the same. So I know this section's real short, but it's really just that easy. So with that, we are connected to an ORDS endpoint. And that was a very quick demonstration on how to connect your spreadsheet to your Visual Builder application, how to impose business rules on the data being changed inside of Excel and demonstrated that those rules are enforced on the back end in the Visual Builder side of things. And then we showed how to do the same thing, but connect to an Oracle REST data services endpoint. Uh, if you'd like to know more, there's a link right there that will take you to the Visual Builder add-on documentation, show you how to download, install, all of the other things that you'd like to do. All right, and with that, I hope that uh, you found that informative, and thank you for spending your time with me.